The idea is here is a simple, beautiful thing. It's like inherently like a poem in its own way. It's like the whole thing is self-composed. It's like it's a shape. It's a texture. It's a flavor. It's a piece of history. You don't need anything more than that. The legend is that in the 17th century, nuns in the port of Bordeaux utilized donated eggs and things that they uh, salvaged from ships in port like flour and sugar and created little cakes that were baked in the fires by the wharf in tins and over time it evolved into the cannelay. When we go to a new market I would say 95% uh, of the customers don't know what a cannelay is. Pronunciations that I hear from my customers they're all over the place. Even from my customers who have purchased cannelays for years from me will come and say I'm here for my cannelli fix and I was like, oh, here's your cannelli. It doesn't matter. They like to say cannelli. Well, first thing you should notice is the sweet crispness and like uh, the distinctive like caramelization of the sugar that only comes from, you know, sugar being heated to just a certain point and not overheated. And then like almost like a beautiful vanilla pudding um, moussey center combined with that crispness with a little spike of orange. Uh, when you have both of those in your mouth at the same time, you know, that's a pretty exquisite experience. Bulk of our business is farmers markets. We have a handful of wholesale customers. When we're busiest, it's like probably 75% is farmers markets. I do not consider myself a pastry chef and I had no pastry experience whatsoever. I was corporate chef for Cigna and I cooked for them for five years. I had never heard of a candlelight or tasted one until, I don't know, five years ago, I'm not sure. I was getting ready for Thanksgiving meal and I was just looking for ideas. I was unemployed at the time and at that time, um, I was working on a project with a friend with organic beeswax and I saw a reference to it and then when I read it I saw that it had a beeswax aspect to it and in the very beginning I only ever did one market so I would go to market on Sunday. I could walk, I had so little stuff I would walk there sometimes or take the bus but once it started, you know, once I started to sell everything I made, have sellouts and all, then I was like oh this has potential and then I would get, and then other people invited me to do other markets. And so once you have a couple markets going, you're like, okay, this is definitely viable. It's just a matter of making good decisions. I know other people think of them, themselves as the Canada person in the United States. I mean, I don't know anybody who does what I do. So I kind of think like, you know, who else in the United States makes 100,000 Canada I don't really know anybody besides me. Some folks claim they figured it out in two or three weeks. It took me probably six months. Uh, cannelay are a little mysterious. You know what? They don't come out exactly the same every time. With the, with the cannelay, the oven is critical, or being able to manipulate your oven to make it work for cannelay is critical. So the correct temperatures for consistency are important. Taste and look-wise, the, uh, the beeswax gives it like a, a sheen and a crackle, and maybe like a, a slight honeyness to the, to the outside, and maybe enhances the caramelization a bit. So you dab the silicone mold with a mixture of 50% butter, 50% beeswax. My very first time that I got a compliment from a French person, I was at Rittenhouse Market, and a really well-dressed man came to my table and he said, are you the person that sells the cannelay to Pumpkin Market? And I was like, yeah. And then he broke into a very thick board. He was like, oh, I am from Bordeaux. And you know, these are spectacular. I ran around the table and hugged them. It was my, I was so thrilled. It gave me the gi most gigantic confidence boost. I don't know whether I'd call it an obsession. You know, it's, it became my business and because, uh, I, week in and week out, you know, we're making batter, baking cannelays. When we're really busy, we're, we're baking thousands of them. Um, we get lots of press, lots of feedback. So, you know, I feel pretty attached to it and I feel like a little bit a defender of its, of its purity and uh, authenticity. I have the Google word alert for cannelay and sometimes I will find something that is uh, irksome beyond, uh, I can't ignore it. So I will uh, engage that person. I guess our next thing we need to do is have a, a devoted space of our own where we could do a little retail of our own and um, do production. So kind of our goal is to move in that direction. So in terms of like the journey, like, you know, there I was in the corporate chef office to here I am in the farmer's market. How did it happen? I don't really know, but where it is, it's hard work and it's iffy sometimes, but on the reward, and on like the personal satisfaction and sense of like, I won't call it destiny, but sense of like fulfillment. Yeah, I cannot complain. Yeah, it's very satisfying.